guys, it's your girl Fairy Queens here and welcome back to another video. How are you guys doing today? I hope you're doing amazing. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a split level dorm. This is a relatively new addition to the game and if you find yourself wishing you had more space in your dorm, then this tutorial is for you. So in this video, I will be showing you a very, very, very basic way to create a split level dorm. Once you get the structure set up, you are free to decorate it however you want to. I will be showing you two types of staircases. One is just the basic top to bottom, and then the other one is a L-shaped staircase. Personally, I prefer the L-shaped staircase, but it's up to you. Either way, the goal is to just create a second level, so that is what I'm going to be showing you today. So these are the materials that I am using. Now, you may need a little bit more, you may need a little bit less, so go ahead and get yourself more just in case, you know, you can always just trash them if you don't use them. It's always good to have more. You can get the castle blocks from crafting them from the guy in Shopping District. He's like a little badger dude. And then you will also need these flat wooden platforms. You can buy those for gold from the crown shop. You can also buy a fence segment from the bazaar. I use these, but you don't have to. You just need something to block off the top layers, that way people don't fall down. So to start off, we will be using three flat wooden platforms to create a kind of like a, a stepping way up into the glitch part of our dorm. Now if you see right where the second area of the wall starts, that is where we will place our second level. So as you can see here, there's no real technique to it, I'm just kind of putting these up here. These will not stay, I am just trying to be able to glitch my character up into the second layer. So once you figure that out, you will be good. You can do this simply by using advanced movement and turning the sensitivity all the way down because if you keep it all the way up, you will hardly move your flat wooden platforms and it will take a very long time. I just put them on the ground and then move them up and just put them into the wall. Like I said, there's no real technique to do this. Just play around with it, it's super easy. You're gonna be removing these anyway. Okay, so now that we have created that, we are going to be going back down to the floor. And as you can see, I am putting down all of the large castle blocks. I am laying them down on the floor, and please, please, please remember to do this because if you don't do it this way, you are going to struggle. You can also layer them on top of each other, which I recommend doing if you run out of space. Once you have laid them all on the floor, you are going to want to climb up your flat wooden platforms and click on the castle block pieces and move your sensitivity all the way down and use the Z slider on the bottom to lift your castle block pieces up. Now I kept my Z at 600. You can really do any unit you want to, but I found 600 to be the best. I definitely want you guys to work with even numbers and not like random numbers like 657. Like, don't be hard on yourself. Please do even numbers. Try working with like uh, hundreds and like fifties and like maybe 25s if you want to, but don't be hard on yourself. I, I really want you guys to get this right, so just work with like 600s if you can. So this is pretty self-explanatory. I am literally just lifting them up from the ground and placing them next to each other. Now you really want to pay attention to the units, okay? The units are so important in this. If you don't want a glitchy floor, make sure that they are all lined up. And remember to keep them all at the same number. So make sure that Z is whatever number you chose. So for me, it's 600. So they will all be at 600. I am just lifting them up from the floor and placing them at the top.
now that we have done that, you can see that there are a couple areas that still have the like holes in the wall. That is where the small and the extra small pieces come into play. So I just put them on top of the second layer and then I kind of just slowly work them into wherever they need to go like so I just kind of like slowly work them into the holes and paying attention to the units is really important I know I keep saying this but it really is so helpful don't make it hard on yourself as you can see the entire time my Z is at 600 another thing that I need to mention is that if you are working with the checkerboard floor like I am you're probably going to want to make sure that it's still like the checkerboard pattern. So sometimes if you line up a brown square next to a brown square, it's going to throw off the entire pattern. So try to keep that in mind whenever you're filling in the little holes. Now that we have created our second layer, this is the hard part, so pay attention. You can go ahead and remove the flat wooden platforms, all three of them, you don't need them anymore. And we are going to work with our extra small pieces now. Line them up side by side on the floor like this, and once you have done that, these will serve as your stairs. With the sensitivity down all the way, each stair should be two clicks above the previous one. This is a very, very, very basic way to create a split level dorm. So now I'm going to be showing you some L-shaped stairs, which I personally prefer, but I just kind of winged this, so my method might be a little bit hard to follow. Basically what I did is I got a medium floor piece and that served as like the 
L corner, I guess. And then I turned the rest of the lower floor pieces and made them go the other way. Now something that you may have noticed already if you're already following this is I don't know why Wizard101 does this, but whenever you're like on a certain level, some of these stairs look like they're like disappearing whenever you're an advanced move. Just trust me, they're still there. That's just a glitch. And now you are pretty much done. You can go up to the second level and start putting your fence segments if you would like to use those or whatever you want. Feel free to get very creative with this. Some ideas that you could do is maybe keep the second floor as like a, like a crafting area and then the bottom could be your bedroom or vice versa. You could flip it around if you wanted. Have fun and don't be afraid to experiment. Be patient and remember to work with even numbers. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment down below. I hope this helped you. Bye!